What's going on guys, Kieran McManaman here. Right, I know there's probably a couple of videos on YouTube already about what the tech specs are for the PlayStation 4. But, I thought I would go over a few of them, starting with the PlayStation 4 going onto the controller and possibly the PlayStation camera. I'm not sure yet, just depending on how long this video goes on for. I'm not going to try and make it long because I don't have a, a lot of time. Right. So the main, the main processor is a single chip custom processor and the CPU low power x86-64 AMD Jaguar, uh, Jaguar 8 cores and a GPU 1.8 TL LOX AMD next, gen next generation Radon basic graphics engine. So basically that means that it's going to be a full power engine compared to the Xbox. The Xbox has similar similar stuff to the PlayStation 4 but they can't exactly have the same stuff because then that would be copyright so if you're one of the Xbox people then you shouldn't really watch this video but if you're thinking 50-50 then have a look the memory is 8 gigabytes but the storage size of the actual hard drive itself is 800 gigabytes where you can't add extra storage basically external units like memory cards and stuff like that it's got a DVD drive it's a super speed USB it's got two ports in it and an aux one port you can put an ethernet in it and bluetooth it has a HDMI out port and a digital out port optical port designs and specifications are subject to change without notice so basically they can easily just change that and we will not have a clue because it's only a couple of weeks until the PS4 itself comes out now because we're nearly at the end of the September well not really we're only on the 12th but think about it we're nearly at the end of September as it is right so technically we've got just over a month well the USA has got about two months in three days aye uh, two months in three days for the, uh, the PS4 to come out and a bit longer in Europe and that in the UK so I thought I'd go over some of the spec uh, go over some of the specs with you and then just take my time to explain them so we're onto the controller now itself it's approximately 162 millimeters times 52 millimeters times 98 millimeters which is width times height times depth it's approximately 210 grams it has a PS button a share button an optics button a di directional buttons up down left right action buttons triangle circle cross and square it's got R1 L1, R2, L2, left stick, L3 button, right stick, R3 button, and the pad button. The touchpad is a two-point touchpad click mechanism, and it's a six-axis motion sensing system, three-axis gyroscope, three-axis accelerometer. Basically, it's it, it's kind of similar to the PS3, uh, uh, the DualShock 3, because that had a six axis as well but I didn't see many games that had six axis working on it one of them was uh, Grand Theft Auto IV that had six axis where you could steer the motorbikes and boats and stuff so I'd like to see that coming in onto the controller again but we have more options of what we can do with it other features are the light bar vibration and built-in mono speaker right so we've already had the vibration but the light bar and the built-in mono speaker are completely new to this controller. The light bar can change colours from when from like player one to four, and the mono speaker I think would be like the Wii. So you can hear bullets flying past you and stuff like that. And it's got a USB micro B extension port stereo headset jack. So again, we've got the USB are already on the PlayStation 1 but we don't have an extension port I don't think and the stereo headset jack is brand new so basically we can put in headphones and stuff like that but on launch day with the PS3 they're sending out a Sony uh, 
official headset with it, which is just a mono headset. So one one headphone and a microphone built into it, so then we can have more gameplay online where everybody's going to basically have a mic. But by the looks of it, it looks cheap and flimsy. So how easy is that to break? Leave your comments below. The battery is a type built in lithium iron uh, rechargeable battery. Voltage is a 7 volt and the capacity is 100 mAh. So now we're going to go on to the PlayStation camera because I didn't think this video was going to be so short. So I might as well go on it. So as you can see here, the size of it is 186 millimeters times 27 millimeters times 27 millimeters, which is basically just a little bit chunkier than the what do you call it, the Xbox 360 Connect. But it's got two cameras where the Xbox 360 Connect didn't, so it's going to pick us up more easily, see what we're doing, and possibly we can switch it on by just like waving our hands and that. They've already confirmed that we can switch it on by voice command, but I'd like to see if we can just switch it on by the recognition of our hand or our eyes when we're sitting down or whatever. The weight is 183 grams. Uh, the video pixels is a maximum of 120, uh, 1280 times 800 pixels times 2. And the video frame rate uh, frame rate. Frame rate is 60 frames per second, 120 frames per second, and 240 frames per second. So basically we can change the settings in the settings itself when we get the PlayStation, so we don't have to have 1280 times 800 pixels, because if we want better frames then we just put the pixels down and we get better frames and then the video rate isn't laggy. The video format is a raw Y U V uncompressed. The lens is a dual range f valve slash f2.0 fixed focus. So basically it's going to pick us up really easily instead of all that lagginess where it zooms in and out to just pick up your face. It's going to pick us up really easily. The capture range is 30 centimeters. So basically if you're sitting in your bedroom it's got no problem in picking you up. But as soon as you have it in your living room and you stand at the back of your living room, depending on how big your living room is, that is, because my living room is fairly big and it's not 30 centimetres, right? It won't pick you up, but it's only a size of a ruler, which isn't that great. Being Sony, you think that they'd have a longer capture range, and 30 centimetres isn't that big, so I'm fairly disappointed myself with that, but, again, I'm excited to see what it can actually do. The field of view is 85 degrees. Now you'd think that the angle of it would be about a 90 degree, but then again, if you look at the camera itself, it's got two gaps at either side, and then the cameras are placed in, and then there's a big gap in the middle. If they wanted a 90 degree one, they should have made that camera bigger. The microphone is a four-channel microphone airy, which basically means it's got four, uh, four, four channels of microphones. So it's got four different microphones to pick you up easier and hear your voice commands. The connection type is a PS4 dedicated connector, an aux connector. So it's going to be in the back of your aux port. In my PS3, myself, I never ever used my aux port. So it'd be really good to actually finally put something in it. And it'd be really good if I could see if we could get the PS4 camera onto the PS3 and do different stuff. But they haven't confirmed if it can do that or not yet. It's approximately 2 metres. Uh, the, the cable length is approximately 2 metres. And again, it says specifications are subject to change without notice. So again, we don't know if they're going to change that before the launch day, but I can't see that going to happen with of how close we are now with the PS4 coming out. So that's it for now, guys. I am going to be putting regular videos up every day, not just about PS4 or other things, but it's going to... My channel now is mostly about, like, Minecraft gameplay and but I'm going to start doing blogs more 
more tech reports about stuff that's coming out in the near future. I'll be doing unboxing reveals, especially when the PS4 itself comes out for the people that want us to see it up and running. I'll be having it up and running, showing you how it works and going through the menu and everything like that. And as I say, I'm doing Minecraft videos daily, so if you are a gamer like Minecraft or anything like that, please like comment and subscribe it's not that hard guys and it'll help me out a bunch so yeah cheers guys thanks for watching and see you later